actually, you guys, if God said in the Bible that no man could die for the sins no, of the world. No, that's not man, what it says. No man. It's no sinful man, fallen man can die for your sins. Why did why did God send his son to die for sinful men? I just answered it. Okay. <laughs> but peace. No sinful man can die for your sins because man is a sinner and he needs forgiveness. So how can I, a sinner, die for another sinner? That's why the sinless son of God, who is anyway, sinless. I what? I wanted to share my screen with you guys. But I want to yeah, share I know you want to misquote Ezekiel 18. Yes, yes. See, okay. I know where you're going. <laughs> if you're listening to me. Right. So you're the name. Help me, help, help me. She, she's reading Ezekiel 18. Verses 1 of 4, it's actually the entirety, Ezekiel 18, verses 1 to 23, it's long, right? The souls that sin shall die. Let me explain what the past saying. A man's righteousness will be accounted to him and he will live. And when a man sins, he will die. However, the sons shall not be put to death for the sins of the fathers, and the fathers shall not be put to death for the sins of the sons. That's the context, right, Bilkis? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so you're saying, see? A man will not be put to death because of his father's sins, or the father will not be put to death for his son's sins. The father will die for his sins or live because of his righteousness, and the son will die for his sins or he will live because of his righteousness. Exactly, because in the context, to make it simple, all these people are sinners, so you will either be punished and condemned by God eternally because of your sins. In other words, if I commit zina, he doesn't get punished by God. But if he makes toba, I don't get saved by God. This is what it's talking about. It's talking about I will end up in hell, God forbid, because of what I do. But if I go to hell just because he's my father, or let's say son because I'm older, he doesn't go to hell because I committed zina or whatever that else. This is what it's saying. You commit zina, I don't. You suffer, I get blessed. But now the question is, let me explain Ezekiel 18. Now, and this also has a legal element to it. I don't have time. I don't want to make it confusing for you. But I should do something about Ezekiel 18 eventually. Got one. Now the element is this. Okay, now can I finish it? Because you brought up the passage. I don't know if you want me to answer. Or you just want... Okay, now the question is, all right, he sinned. But God says in that same chapter, even though the wicked sin, I want them to make toba, repent and live. So though he sins and he should die, I don't want him to die. I want him to make toba, turn, repent, seek forgiveness, and he will live and I'll forgive him. Because I don't delight in the wicked dying. Okay, so he committed sin now, whatever, but he's now feeling guilty and he turns to God, forgive me. God says, I will forgive you, you won't die. However, the same book of Ezekiel says, because he sinned, he has a debt. What you would say, Dana, debt. What is the debt? Death. But God says, all right, if you repent of your sin, you won't die, but there's still a debt to be paid. That's why Ezekiel 16, 63 says, God will then make atonement, atonement for your sin. So Ezekiel 16, says, we're almost, I know you're talking about. No, no, this is good. This is good. Ezekiel 16. I just want to ask, I just want some questions. And what? I want you guys to Can like, I finish the answer though, please? So yeah, Bill, when you ask, you ask good questions that require explanation. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just going to be a microwave answer like this. The same Ezekiel says, what will God do? That you may remember and be confounded and never open your mouth again because of your shame. When I what? When I atone for you for all that you have done, declares the Lord. Okay, God. did you hear Christians? The yeah. same Ezekiel That's good. says, I will then make atonement for your sins so that when you turn, you won't have to die. Yeah. Now we get the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yep. Are you seeing the gospel, Christian? Let me know because I want you, because I don't know if she's listening. I hope she is. I hope she'll learn. But this is for you because they always quote Ezekiel 18. So you're telling me two chapters before, before Ezekiel 18, mm -hmm. God already says the reason why the wicked don't have to die, but if they turn and repent, they can be forgiven to live because I and my love will make atonement for them. That's good. Okay. That's good. So now let me go to the next question. That's now, good. God had to die. Now, can I explain it now with keys? Why God had to be the one to make atonement? He says, I, I, right? Yep, I. I'm going to atone. How yep. do you do it? Now, let me show you logic. Why our Bible is miraculous. It's from God. It's beautiful. Christians, watch the beauty and the wisdom of our God. 
if you have one sinless man, let's say I'm sinless, and I say, God, I will die in his place, the sinner, so he can be forgiven. The problem is, Bilkis, human life is equivalent to human life. Eye for eye, soul for soul. Meaning, if I'm a man who's sinless, I can only die for the payment of one man. I can't die for every man because I am not more valuable than all human lives. The only one who has value, a value and worth that is greater than all mankind combined is God. Not even an angel is equivalent to a human life because according to the Bible, humans are higher than angels and animals. So an angel can't come and offer his life to pay the debt of all humans because an angel, his value is less than a human. The only being whose value is greater than human, human and all creation is God. So God says, all right, in my love, I want to pay the debt of all human beings who will turn to me and believe. But now you have another problem, Bikis. The debt is human death. Because God says, if a human sins, he dies. So a human death has to occur. But God is not a man. God is spirit. So what does God do? I will now become man and die a human death. Because when I, God, die a human death, that makes the debt infinite in its value. So now my human death, because I'm God, not a human person, I'm God, who now becomes human and dies a human death, that makes my sacrifice of infinite value, and I can cover the debt of all humans and all creation. This is why the gospel is beautiful and you don't have it. 